All right, so this is Longboard Technology, and we've gotten together some of our oldest, most worn out P2 trucks over here, which Riley rides every single day, and he's totally toasted them. And uh, they are making a lot of noise right now. And as you can see, they are, uh, it's got a few problems. So, but it's still worth fixing. It's still I love, worth fixing. I love that skateboard. It works. It still performs. Uh, it just makes a lot of noise. And that noise comes from a few different places here. It comes from this movement of the hanger like that. Comes from the movement of the hanger like that. And it comes from the movement of the bolt here that holds everything together. And all those combined makes for a very, very loud truck. So how do we fix it? So today, we're gonna take this truck and we're gonna completely silence it and make it perform like it did out of the box, except it didn't come out of a box because it was a prototype. But we're gonna fix it anyway. Here I've got a blown up version of our channel. It is what the hanger slides into and it guides the motion of the axle. And how it works is we've got these two surfaces here, this one here, and this one there, and they come together, the axle or the hanger travels through there, and uh, that is what gives it the, the whole truck its motion. But um, our hanger is a little bit more complicated than that. It, what it actually does is this black part, which is the aluminum, is designed so it pinches the top of the hanger up here to provide the tolerance all the time. And then down here, we actually have it so it's a compound channel. So it's got the channel here and here, but it's also got the channel here and here. And what this does is while this channel provides the strength and the tolerance, this one allows it to tighten down on the bottom and to quiet the truck using the neoprene cam which is this right here. So the hanger right here, as you can see, it's got these, these two outsides. So see that you see the, the first outer channel and you can see the smaller, the smaller inner channel right there. And you can see how it just fits right inside the hanger, right? Or right inside the base plate. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's pinched up here and you can, if, but if you get a large enough cam, and put the cam in there, it pushes it out and keeps it tight and tolerant. Cool. And that is how the hanger and base plate are supposed to interact. So what we need to do is to actually tighten the aluminum channel. And since we have it over here, but on our newer production Revolution trucks, we've got this shoulder bolt. And the shoulder bolt will actually prevent you from tightening the truck down past a certain point. So once the truck begins to wear, you'll no longer be able to get the tolerance you need. So what we do is we use a washer and we just slide it over the, the, the center pivot or the, the center bolt. And that allows us to get the extra tolerance, the extra room we need in order to fully tighten down the hanger. And it allow us to tighten it down enough to totally bind the thing up. And it will also prevent the shoulder bolt from binding on the nut, and which, which can cause the nut to strip which is very difficult to remove. So this washer becomes very important on our newest trucks. So now we're ready where I'm gonna be taking this truck and I'm going to be transforming this monster into something, a tame, gentle, and quiet beast. And I'm gonna be taking you with me on this magical adventure while we, while we make this happen, while, we, while this truck undergoes this magical transformation. First things first. Um, this truck is very worn out. These, um, the space between here 
has been worn wide open. We've got a lot of worn air surface on the hanger itself. And so what we're going to do is we could tighten the, tra the channel, but it's left, it's left enough space where we can put a shim in there. And the shim is nice because it's made of a disposable plastic, meaning that any further wear is going to be taking place on this little thing, which, uh, which, further, which will protect the truck. And this can be made out of uh, like a milk carton or something, and it's really simple. And just slides in there. So we're putting in the shim to take up the extra space that we've developed. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put the cam in here. And we're going to check to see how tightly this thing fits with that cam. And you can see we get a lot of movement right there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a piece of this bicycle tube. And uh, I just bought a bicycle tube new and cut it up because uh, this stuff is really useful for these trucks. You can use them for the O-rings, you can use them for, you know, for anything. So I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to cut a section of it that is shorter than the cam. And uh, I got the length of the cam marked on this one. I'm just going to cut it a little underneath so I got some room to play with. And then I'm going to cut it open. And I'm going to guesstimate about how much room I have inside this inside this truck here to, to take up space for and I believe I can fold this into thirds so I can take this fold it over I'm gonna wedge this thing open right here and I'm gonna shove this in there like that shove it in grab my other screwdriver and uh, this one's more pointy just shove it on down in there Whoop. Don't let it do that to you. It's like eating food with chopsticks. <laughs> this is like, this, this is an art. There we go. There we go. It's all shoved in there. It's magic. Okay. So that might be a little tight. See, so it's got this nice big bowl. Let's take a look at it from the top. See? It's got a nice, it's got a nice bulge on it. And uh, we want it to be down in the bottom because it's at the bottom of this of this uh, cam where it really counts. So that might be a little tight, but we'll see. We'll see if I can just force this, this uh, the hanger on there. I'll come in from the side because it's wedged. And oh, look, it fits. Fits really well. So right now, I don't even have the bolt in there. I'll, I'll slide the bolt in so that it's, uh, but I won't even, I won't tighten it. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm catching, there we go. So the bolt's in, it's already quiet, it doesn't move hardly at all, and it, it's really good already, haven't even tightened it down yet. So the next step is, um, this one's got a shoulder bolt, so we're going to stick the washer on. The end, this is, a, this, is a, this is a doubly fat washer, just because to make it so that we have plenty of room. Let's stick that on there, and... I'll grab my, uh, there we go, my 3 8 inch head here, and I'm going to um, start just winding this down, and I'm going to take it all the way down until it binds the truck, and then I'm going to back it off until it's at the level of tightness that I want it to be at. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, it's starting to be tight. So now it's not, not even bound yet. There we go, now it's bound up, can't move, so I'll start taking it off to see where I want it. And. Uh, Feel, that feels pretty good right there. I like that. So that is now a quiet and tuned truck. It's, it's become more tolerant. It has become virtually silent. And it's going to last a lot longer if you don't let it rattle around. So there we go. We got a new 
quiet OP truck. <laughs> Whoa! Some, somebody's tuned up my skateboard truck because it doesn't make all kinds of noise anymore. I'm so pumped. This thing is making so much less noise than it was before. And it just inspires confidence to be able to go fast. So yeah, now we just gotta do the front truck. Yeah, because that's where all the noise is coming from. I'm stoked about this. Because that rattling has been driving me nuts! You super you excited? Fix other side now? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> you take the camera and I'll, and I'll fix this other side. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I think it needs some uh, some bicycle tube, Riley. <laughs> the skateboard truck whisperer. <laughs> So, if we were able to revive these old, worn out, ancient skateboard trucks from the past, from the past, the zombies, then imagine what these simple tricks will be able to do for your other planet P2 skateboard trucks. So, take it from me, this is ripping, this is working well. You get out there, you repair your equipment, you maintain your goods, and you shred. This is Longboard Technology, over!